I good to start now? Yeah? Anything else I need to change? Yeah. Do you see that the head has the tendency now to fall forward? Mm -hmm. So lift your head. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember that? Mm -hmm. Good. So actually I improve it in 50% already. So I can go now. How yeah. straight does the spine have to be? Because I've seen a few people in that sideline position and it can be very... Kind of yeah. rolled. Yeah. yeah. Is that um, um, you, you would need to have them a little bit more rolled forward, yeah. tiny bit rolled forward, and the natural curve. So as long as they're in the natural <coughs> curve, that should be fine. Is this answer your question? Or? Yeah, well, <laughs> this part of the back will be out a lot further. Ah, so what happened is that bring your scapula backward. Yes, yes. that's what happened. Yes. No. So no. that's bad. What you're doing to, to help them, you're coming here, you're taking their hand, and you're just moving Straight. it a little bit here, yeah, this way, okay? A bit straighter, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. So, in a regular massage, you can massage the, yes, you can come here. So in a regular massage, you can come and massage that area. But what I would like to, and you can do it from here, from the other side, but what <coughs> I want to do now is to create a, posi a, a position that the muscle is in a laxity. Yeah? So I would do that, and then I would massage together with it. Yeah? Because it's the same, remember the towel? The towel is shrink, and then... Now look, actually there is a lot of more give in the muscle in that position. So, but I don't keep it even um, stationary. I do a bit of mobilization. But actually not the mobilization much. I just move the muscle a little bit with it. Do you see how the muscle moves? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Good. So you can do it from here. You can then continue here. You can come on to the other side. So we swap into here. And actually do now the rhomboids. Yeah. Good. Or the upper trapezius. Or you can do it with your knuckles. So it's not again how to, it's more an approach I want you to um, observe and, and then try out for yourself. Yeah. Good. Even, you know, the upper trapezius finish on the, in the skull, yeah? Even do it on the skull, because you know that the muscle would be relaxed more in here. Even more, you want to do something a bit more acrobatic, hold their hand this way, and then you now tractioning the thorax that way, and then your head's doing it on the, on the other side. It's a little bit painful, yeah? So, <laughs> is it too much? <laughs> too much? No, it's good. Painful, but good. Good pain. Okay. It's like pain. It's really silently. Nice. Nice. Okay, good. Uh, there are many ways to do the same approach, yes? You can do, you can do it now with pushing the shoulder backward. Mm. Yeah? So, which muscle in front I would stretch now? Pectoralis. Good. Yeah. So all the people with a rounded shoulder would be really good with that kind of yeah, because you're stopping the thoracic spine from falling. If I don't use any of this hand, what's going to happen is that you see that she's rolling now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. You're stopping the spine and then moving the shoulder. Make it look so easy, right? It's kind of easy, yeah. But there are two things here. Actually, working with rotation might be even helping to understand that. That you're holding the spine and then the shoulder moves. It's a resistance. I resist with this hand. This hand here. 
resist and that hand push. So it's like uh, doing that, hold and the other hand push. Can you do that again? Yes, hold and the other hand push. Yeah. So that one holds and the other one push. Okay. Okay. So, um, shall we practice just that? Yeah. Can do it on our clothes. You can do with yes, with minimal yes. You can do it with your clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, take just keep the shirt. No, no jumpers or something because that would be hard to feel. Okay. Okay. And